Hello YouTube, this is Detroit Borg, and in this video I'd like to take a look at the cameras and flash on the iPhone 4. Of course there are two cameras on the iPhone 4. There's the front-facing VGA camera, and then of course the 5 megapixel camera on the back of the iPhone. Which is of course accompanied with this LED flash. And let's launch the camera app. Now both cameras record in either portrait or landscape mode. In order to record in landscape mode, all we have to do is rotate the phone. And you can see the camera icon now indicates we're shooting in landscape mode. And you see the other icons have also rotated. So the first thing I want to take a look at is the tap to focus function. Now what this allows you to do is simply tap on something in the scene and the camera will automatically adjust for the best focus, white balance, intensity, etc. First thing I want to do is tap the desktop. You can see that it's awfully overexposed right now. It's very white. If I tap on it, the camera will adjust both the focus and intensity. So now you can see the desktop looks a little more even, but now the background looks a little dark. So let me tap on the mouse up here and bring that into focus. When I tap the screen, you also see the zoom controller appear. All I have to do is hold on to the scroller and zoom in. Now this is digital zoom, it's not optical zoom, therefore the quality will degrade the closer you zoom in. Let's zoom back out. And as you can see, zooming in is only at the center of the picture. You can't scroll around to choose a different scene. Let's tap the center of the scene and take a photo. So let's see if we can take a lot of photos in a burst. So you can take quite a few photos pretty quickly. Now the iPhone 4 also introduces a new feature to the iPhone series, which is a flash. By default it's in auto mode, meaning that the iPhone will automatically flash the LED light if it determines the scene needs it. If you tap auto, you're given several other options. You can turn the flash off, or you can have it on at all times. So let me tap on, and let's take a photo. So you can see the iPhone flashed its LED light and took the photo. Now let's turn off the light source above and see how well it works. Okay, since this is a dark scene, let's see if the camera decides that it needs the flash. I've put it back in auto. Let's shoot it. And indeed it thought we needed the light. So let's say I don't want that flash on. Let's turn it off and take the photo again. Now let's see which one I like better. Without the flash, with the flash. Without the flash, with the flash. I have to say I like the one without the flash better, but that's just me. Now let's take a look to see just how bright this flash is. I have it in photo mode, and I've turned the flash to on. Okay, you can see that it flashes once to meter the scene, and then it flashes again to actually illuminate the scene for the photo itself. Let's do it one more time. It is very bright, especially when you're looking directly at it, and it's very effective in the dark scene. Now let's put it in video mode. In video mode, we have some of the same controls that we do in photo mode, including flash, tap to zoom, and landscape or portrait. So if we want to shoot in landscape, again, we just rotate it. Now it's important to keep in mind that in order to record in landscape mode, you have to make sure the phone is in landscape before you start recording, otherwise it will record in portrait. Just like in photo mode, you also have tap to focus, so you can tap to focus before you start recording, or you can tap to focus while you're recording, which is a new feature to iOS 4. This works on 3GS and iPhone 4. So let's start recording. Now let's choose a different part of the scene. Let's go up here and choose the mouse. So now the mouse is in focus and the uh, intensity has been balanced out. Let's go back down here. Let's select this tag. And we're in focus again. Now you also have access to the flash while shooting video. If you tap the flash icon up here, again you have off, auto, or on. Now when you turn it on, it does behave differently. It's on at all times. So unlike the still camera, when the flash only goes on when you're taking the photo, on the video camera, the flash is always on even before you start recording. Now let's go to auto. Now in auto mode, the flash will not go on until you start recording. Of course, it will only go on if the iPhone 4 determines it, it's needed. So let's turn off the overhead light 
and see if auto mode works. Again, we're in auto mode and the scene is dim, so let's start recording. There we go, there's our light. Now let's see if the light goes off when we turn on the overhead. So the light does stay on. So if you start recording with the flash on, it will stay on even if it's in auto mode. Now when you tap the flash, you do have the option to turn it off while you're recording. So let's turn it off and the flash is off. In order to invoke the front facing camera, all we have to do is tap this icon in the upper right corner. The camera switches and then you see me. Of course, this is the camera usually used for FaceTime and you can record this in either portrait or landscape mode. So let's record in landscape. And this also has the tap to focus function. So let's focus on my hat right here. There you go. Now it doesn't have zoom function like the front camera does. It also records video. All I have to do is tap this icon and it will take you to video. And once again, you can shoot in landscape or portrait. Once you've shot your photos and recorded your video, go to your photo gallery. And in my camera roll, you see all the photos I took today. So let's just pick on the last one. Now, of course, you have the option to zoom in, zoom out, pan around or go to the next photo. If you tap the photo, you're given some controls. And the control I want to look at right here is the send icon. Here you have options to email photo, send it via MMS, send to mobile me, assign to a contact, or use as a wallpaper. So let's go to email photo. And I'm just going to send it to myself. Now when I go to send a photo, it's given me several options. I can send it the actual size, which is a whopping 1.4 megabytes, large at 283, medium at 79.8, or small at 30.3. So let me go ahead and just select large. Okay, so my photo is sent. Let's tap on this and go back to camera roll. Now if you want to send more than one photo, just go to your camera roll, select the send icon, and start selecting. Now you have the option to copy these. So right now it's been copied to my clipboard and I can take those over to an email. Let's select five photos again. Now let's go to share. And under share, I'm, e I'm able to email or MMS. If I go to email, you'll see the photos loading in the body of the email. And once again, I'll be prompted to downsize them if I want. Now you notice I only selected five photos for that demonstration. And that's because if I select more than five photos, let's go ahead and select six, I lose the ability to copy them and under share, I can only MMS. So I can't email more than five at a time. Now the next thing I'm gonna show you is sending video. So let me tap uh, this video. Now when you tap the video, you see a timeline appears and you can scrub through the video itself. And as you can see, when you hold the scrubber bar, it expands to show you more detail. If you tap and hold the edges, you're given the option to trim. So let's go ahead and trim this clip down. Let's trim it down a little farther. Now let's click trim. So when I select trim, I'm given two options. I can trim the original clip, which will delete uh, part of the original clip, or I can save as a new clip and preserve the original. In this case, I'm just going to say trim the original. So it's trimming the video. And we're done. And we have a new timeline for the shortened video. Let's play it. Now that we're recording, let's pick a different scene that isn't fo in focus yet. Let's go to the top of my... Uh... Now let's go ahead and send this video. When I click send, I have several options. I can email the video, MMS, send to mobile me or send to YouTube. Now in the previous video, I've shown you how to send to YouTube. So let's just go to email video. So as you can see, it's compressing the video and it's added it to the body of the email. So once again, guys, this is Detroit Borg with a demo of the iPhone 4 cameras and flash. Thanks for watching.